so in this video uh, I'm gonna try to get the demo of uh, go to assist uh, in one of my previous videos I talked about it <coughs> and I s basically we use it at work so I just searched the demo and thought uh, maybe there's a trial version that we can use and I did find one uh, you have to have a business um, <coughs> email address to sign up for it so I was able to do it with my work address and I signed up for it earlier I'm not sure it's gonna work uh, or not so let's see if I can give it the password and make it work <coughs> let's uh, Uh, <coughs> I think I s talked about it in this video right here remotely help a user um, <coughs> so let's see if I <coughs> can make it to work so basically they <coughs> they change the name now it's a uh, rescue assist uh, let's see if I can log in. <coughs> Where is sign in? Rescue assist or go to assist? I think it was rescue. <coughs> I'm going to pause the video here. So I found the path password for my cell phone so I'm logged in uh, it's a trial version so it says let me try connect faster and all that whatever they uh, are doing now so mode view only and control start a camera share session let's go with this one skip tutorial let's go uh, if it if it cannot make it work like the way we work at uh, make it work at my work then I will definitely go for the tutorial and see what's going on session tab here okay <coughs> all right okay click here session <coughs> let's do it please select the support tab on the left okay Copy and paste the link to a near browser tab or device. Browser tab or device, okay. Please follow this up. Launch a new web browser, paste the URL. Screen. <coughs> oh, okay. Paste and go. yeah it's exactly the same uh, so we have to click allow okay all set start remote control oh, okay so you should I wish I could show you side by side so let's do that it's exactly the same <coughs> so basically like I told you um, that uh, the other person on the other end they have to download the exe and then run uh, a small exe tiny one and uh, then run it and then we give them the code and they <coughs> that's how it works but it looks like uh, they have evolved the technology and the code is in the link and all that so let me pull another machine <coughs> and give you a proper demo let's do that <coughs> so basically we're gonna think that Windows 10 is my computer and you see customer seems to be unavailable we're gonna go back here transfer session variable and session and session close <coughs> the active session so we're gonna say that this one is mine right here <clears throat> this is my um, machine 
and let's say Windows 7 is my for the clarity but I don't want to run test 2 or test 2 because they are all Windows 10 <coughs> this one is gonna take a little bit time Windows 7 always does for some reason so how about I pause the video once the Windows 7 is up and running I can resume it <coughs> Alright, so Windows 7 is up. Um, <clears throat> it was just updating and all that, so I didn't want to waste all that uh, video just to keep showing you that the Windows is uh, updating. So for the <clears throat> for even more clarity, that's a uh, fire of Firefox here. So you'll see that uh, okay, this is Chrome right here. If you can see, <clears throat> uh, this is Chrome, and right here it's Firefox so we are using two different browser uh, this is the best I can do here so we're gonna work with it so basically <clears throat> we get a new session and new active session and so there are two ways either we copy this link and send them or we tell them to hey can you go to this website on the phone like if you're not uh, insist message it's not IM instant message or it's not over the email we tell them hey okay <clears throat> like if you're on the email you say hey I just sent you an email please check and click on that link or <clears throat> you can tell them hey go to this website and enter this code just like we tell them uh, to download that and run it it's a little bit confusing I must admit that when we tell them that hey can you uh, um, can you download like first we redirect them to a page web page then we ask them to click this link then uh, file downloads then we have to guide them through hey can you click that file uh, it should be there please click run and all that so see how easy it is we just have to tell them and once they download to run it then they have to enter the code but this one is a lot faster they just have to go here <coughs> and rather than over there all that customer says my name is Joe and we tell them hey please enter the ID uh, this code in the window and they enter it oops my 895 <coughs> come on 986 436 <coughs> and they click continue allow and you see this is the end session button I'm gonna show you the whole video over here <clears throat> so this is the end session this is the report abuse like for that and you see trial uh, all that so it's it sent them tell them that uh, will be with you shortly establish with this now it's up to me and if I'm on the phone I can tell them hey I'm gonna start the remote view session or start remote control it's up to you so we're gonna uh, if it's like uh, just a matter of the guiding them by looking at the screen then we go with this one but uh, if we have to take control we click on this one so it says <coughs> the on the supported application now yet yeah, they have to run and ah it's still a run okay so they have to oh they have to run the program no matter what okay it's still the same <coughs> Um, you see and now I have the exact replica of him over here if you can see it says end session hide I have the same over here so I can see his screen <clears throat> this session is being recorded so this session is being recorded on the web as well so now I can see everything <clears throat> and if I click you see that's how we control them uh, their machine <clears throat> we can exit out of this one like connected and all this messages that we're getting no cancel so what is it so come on my window is too small now okay let's open it so you see whatever they do or we do it gets replicated so we tell them hey, okay so you have to go to this website and 
and you see the website over there we tell them hey sir then you have to click on sign in so whatever this is how we show or click it for them or just if, for example like them call I told you about that the zoom was too high then we can fix the zoom for them see we can fix the zoom for them so this is how remote desktop session works it's very easy <clears throat> all they have to do is run that file um, I like it a lot because it uh, cuts short uh, your handle time a lot because you are seeing and you are actually <coughs> And you are actually going straight to those steps you don't have to tell them over and over again and you can show them and you're done so there are some other things that we don't have in our program definitely it's been better uh, this one would be I have to click on them add device so basically device name I can if it's a, I think uh, it's a, uh, <coughs> Oh, so I think th what it is is that if you're frequent with that user, you can add it. So you can admin mode, add them. I have to give the admin password. Uh, this one is admin mode require. Okay. Reboot and reconnect. Do you want to? Oh, so <coughs> yeah, you can reboot it and then reconnect automatically. That's uh, this is pretty neat send file you can send a file to them like you want them to run something you can send it through it this is snapshot you can take a picture you click on it see and if we go and open it we see we can see so that's the picture right whatever is on their computer screen and even though on on my right side you see this uh, bar cut here right here but you see over there you get the full picture that's because uh, uh, that's because of the setting that I use to capture my screen so we can exit out of it this one is uh, if you want to go full screen like this and escape is to exit out of it so that was the full screen now you get the full, uh, much better right should have done this from the start but uh, this one is IM chat you can s talk to them while you're doing you can send them a message <coughs> where is it chat message Joe right there so you see so if I send him hey I am almost done <coughs> like if we are no longer on the phone uh, he should receive the message in where is his client must be this one that's right there hey I'm almost done right there all right <clears throat> and then we can turn off the chat this one is a folder uh, like search to gain access to customer file request permission we can send them and dig if you can see on the right side it's asking for the permission if the customer click OK then we have the access to their uh, C drive and for example where is the desktop users uh, right now from this login in desktop nothing right there okay so that's how you get the access to their files and like you can browse through that uh, this one is just information their IP address where they are when what the, when uh, system they are using resolution CPU usage memory logical drive system like pretty neat like you get all the information notes if you want to put uh, memory notes for yourself or for the next uh, <coughs> help desk agent uh, if you want to say hey, okay I did this on this computer for this so you know that shared screen helped with msn.com showed how to sign in right that's it so you save them 
and if the next agent ha has to uh, uh, help with the guy and the guy mentioned uh, something about the previous agent then he can look into the notes and see what's going on so it's right there um, it's all saved All right, and this one must be the connection, poor connection. So basically it's saying the connection is poor between these two computer. And this is finally the end session. So Joe, we see that the customer name was Joe, remote control been this long. So this is pretty neat. Yeah, this is now all web-based and it's being saved on their servers. <clears throat> but uh, like I said, we have the uh, software, like we basically run that software and the person downloads a tiny file and runs it uh, over here they had to do the same but uh, again you can see it's all web-based it's uh, pretty neat so to end session either they can end session or you can end session like uh, uh, if they have to go and they don't want you to keep seeing their screen anything or the message popped up an email or something then um, they can end session but if you're done you tell them hey do you your uh, thing is uh, uh, whatever the problem was uh, we fixed it now you're good to go do you uh, if they no longer for require your assistance uh, you can end the session so <coughs> you can end session here you can end session from this cross mark or I believe that's it so let's click end session here it will confirmation and there you go so the session closed so you see now the session is closed right so you can close it here as well so this is permanently terminated session ID is this that uh, you can save it or will be available in a few minutes recording so everything is getting recorded and then uh, you can actually view what happened like if they have a complaint and they say hey this uh, uh, agent or personal uh, did something without my authorization or he did not listen to me when I told him no no don't do that and all that so they can actually view that recording and see what's what went so basically it's you see the counting down that oh this is like if after the session you want to do something like you want to add notes or you want to uh, uh, copy paste something or you have an external uh, file uh, other than this uh, go to assist like uh, we have all the accounts on our our own web servers so if you have to note down everything you can copy it from here and then so it gives you like a time, five minute or window it's it's um, called uh, after call work so if you have to do yeah so this is just uh, like how you want to rate them or you have a feedback <coughs> or you have an issue so that's all it's pretty small pretty e neat and pretty easy so it's not uh, that you have to be afraid of you just have to do it once and then you're a pro <coughs> and you will be using a lot all right so this is for th this video I will see you in the next video I have a few ideas that I want to work on um, not in terms of like for my learning but uh, for office 365 and uh, others Microsoft Windows 10 all right this is for this video you if you like this video if it helped you please rate share comment and subscribe thank you good night